hi you guys and welcome um this will be my first initial episode of my new little series um if you have not caught on my name is love jador and i recently told everyone go buy the book it's called relationship goals by michael todd um he's a pastor out in oklahoma and i don't know i just wanted something to help with my self healing journey just something for me to just do so i could get right okay because i'm ready to get all my blessings from god it's basically a book about building relationships and how to break those relationship goals that we all are putting on ourselves they put on social media everybody you know hashtag relationship goals you know what it is so last week um i told everyone about going to get the book read the first chapter so this video is going to be about the first chapter and what I took from it you can always like tell me what you took from it and we can just go from there now as you can see I'm in my robe and my curls is like gone okay so what I'm gonna do with this whole video is because we're gonna do this at night we're gonna do this while it's a night gap I have on no makeup you know because when you come to God he said come as you are and I'm coming as I, as I am and I'm getting ready for bed <laughs> I like to end my note. I like to end my day with God. I don't know about everybody else, but I have to talk to him to wind down. Right? Find out what happened today. Okay? We're going to come up with a name for this. But until then, let's go ahead and get into this book. So, boom. The first chapter is called Taking Aim. This is the first chapter of the book. Um, and it basically like he starts off talking about his life journey and how, you know, he um, grew up in a two parent household. He grew up in church. He's like the oldest out of four boys. And well, not the oldest, but he has like other siblings and they're all boys. And he talks about how, yes, he's been around other people in relationships. Yes, he has, you know, seen relationships, but. He doesn't even know what a relationship is. And I'm not going to lie. I can kind of vouch for him because honestly, everybody in my family is married. And if they're not married, they have children and they usually don't talk to their baby daddy. <laughs> and that's that. You know, I grew up like, you know, you're supposed to be a strong black woman. And I'm not sure about everybody else, but I'm so sure that the rest of us grew up where you're supposed to be strong. You know, you don't depend on no man for nothing. And even though when you're married, people still say you don't depend on that man for nothing. <laughs> That's so messed up. God, we need to break that. Okay, so he basically went through that. He talked to us about his, like, his life journey. I have a notes. I have notes. I write notes on everything that I read, everything that I come across. I'm just a notes girl. <laughs> Can you tell who I was in school? Okay, so... <laughs> So, boom, like, relationship goes about the relationships that we see on TV and how we try to compare because we don't know. You feel me? None of us really know what a relationship is supposed to be. So, what we do is we look at the people around us and we go, uh-uh. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. We look around, we go, mm, mm, mm. So, then we go on social media and we look at, oh, <laughs> two dozen roses. Oh, she pay, he pays all her bills. Oh my God, beautiful house. Oh my God, he loves her. He took her on a trip to Dubai. You know, we're looking at stuff like that. And we're comparing and we're making them our relationship goals. But we don't even know what's going on. Like, we don't even know that he beat her behind right before he took her to Dubai. You know, we don't even know that, you know, he took her to Dubai, but he left her in the hotel the whole time. We don't know. We do not know. This is where relationship goals is really like a curse. Like you asking for somebody else's stuff, but you don't even know what they what, what it took for them to have. We don't even know. God be trying to prepare us. Okay, what's that movie? Temptation. Y'all better tap tap in. Okay, so that's basically what we all do. We it don't flick, don't flex like you don't do it because you do. You do. Like, then he goes into tell about, like, um, when we go through, okay, so boom, now that we're doing our relationship goals, right, we coming up with a list, because now we see, if you're like me, I'm very picky, <laughs> so I would look at this relationship, that relationship, and I would take from each one, and I would just make my little list, and I would say, I want 
you know, this type of man with this type of job, or driving this type of car, and uh, leave it like that. <laughs> that's that's that on it. And so, um, then I'm looking for my thing. So I can put my hair up. Okay, so bones. Anywho. Um, then we go through trial and error. That's basically like a trial and error that you do that you did not include God on. You didn't even ask him. You just straight up said, I'm on this, 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 and this, which is kind of messed up because with God, he, 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 I ain't gonna say he petty, but he, he be listening, right? He gonna give you what you want, but you didn't be specific when you said what you wanted. So he gonna give you exactly what you want, but it's gonna have flaws that you didn't even think about. You didn't even think to ask him to put this, that entire in, in, into this person. That you're putting on this list. You're putting materials and you're not even putting people with foundation. You know, people with depth. You know, you're not even putting that. So then he goes talk about, okay, you want this for your goals. What about God's plan? What? Because it's a quote. It's a Bible verse. We're going to, hey, listen. I didn't say this was Bible study, but I did say you was going to catch on tonight. Okay. Where is it? Uh, turn into your books. <laughs> I've always wanted to say that. Okay, okay, okay. Turn in your books to page 19, chapter 1, taking aim, okay? Um, <clears throat> verse number umpteenth. It says, God told the prophet Jeremiah, before you were born, I set you apart and appointed you as my prophet to the nations. In a little snippet in the book, he says, in other words, Jeremiah had a God-given mission before he even took his first breath, but... Before you dismiss that as a special case, let me tell you that it's not just prophets or other unusual people who have a place in God's plan. We all have a God-given person, inborn purposes, okay? So basically, he already knew, when he created you, he knew who you was, he already knew who you want to be with, he already knew what your plan was, what y'all what y'all purpose was to be together, because everybody has a purpose together. The, you have to think about that. When you work in that list, that's why, I just just rip up the list, okay? And you need to just start asking God, what exactly am I supposed to be doing? And I need a man that's, that's with a purpose. What is our purpose together? That's what chapter one is basically about. Rip up your list and take the aim because the goal is about fulfilling your purpose together. And then he goes on to the last, because this is it right here, y'all. This is the first, this, 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 this the cap, this night cap right here. Just to, just to suggest the, the diversity that's possible, here are some relationship goal examples. So we're going to rip up our little list that we had before, and we're going to recreate that. We're going to redirect that into our life. And it doesn't even have to be about men. It doesn't even have to be about women. It doesn't have to be about anybody that you want to sleep with. <laughs> that's, that's, that's really, that's, that's, that's what that, do you know where I'm going with this? Okay. It could be about anything. Like, an example could be, I need to break up with my abusive boyfriend, move out of his apartment, and spend some time not dating anybody. I need to rediscover who I am and focus on getting back to God. That's a realistic goal. Or, I'm so used to being in multiple relationships for fun, but I'm tired of empty relationships. I want a relationship with death. Be specific. I want to find a junior partner who shares my, who shares my values and whom I can confidently give my business to when I retire. So, it could be a business partner. Okay, you could be like, you know what, God, I'm good on me. I'm praying for a business partner. <laughs> okay, it could be, I know I'm only a teenager and haven't had a serious relationship, but I really feel God is calling me to be a mom of several, of several children. I need to start getting wisdom to prepare for that future. It could be something that you know what you're destined for, but you just need him to show you your purpose. Didn't I just say that? Didn't I just say that? I did just say that. Okay, so it could also be my new company is big. I'd really like to find a new coworker who are here. I, I wait. <laughs> I really like to find a few coworkers here who are believers just like me. See, it don't have to be just about a man, but it could be a goal that is going towards your purpose. Going towards your purpose. That's basically what chapter one is all about. Reconnecting in like reorganizing your goals to fit your purpose so you can fulfill everything that you need to. Y'all, I didn't even roll my little hair. <laughs> I got my little rollers here. I'm supposed to say roll my hair, but that's the end of the cap, y'all. Like that's the end. Um, I hope you all enjoyed it. Please, please, please go pick up the book if you have not, or if you have picked up the book, but you have not read anything, girl, what you waiting on, boy, what you waiting on? Okay, so um, I plan on doing this again in a couple of days. And we're going to move a little fast. 
because I posted it this Thursday and then I posted it Friday and today is Saturday and I'm finally doing it so we have to move a little quickly okay next time I'm gonna have my little um drinky drink my little um water with my fruit infused because you know we gotta stay hydrated before we go to bed and I'm going to I'm really gonna roll my hair next time y'all make sure y'all got all y'all stuff okay bring all your stuff um next week we will be going over chapter two three and four I'm gonna do it all in one video I know dang girl I know it's only nine chapters, but he has two other books that we have to get to, y'all. And this journey, we need to... What's not cooking, Steven? Okay, we have to get through this. Bye.